Hi, George here. Let's say I can put custom music onto a record here inside of Minecraft Bedrock. It's real easy, but there are a few steps to do this properly. If you want to find out how I made this up here, this colored title, where I have my own version of that, just take a look in the description. I'll put a link for that video right in there. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to go over to the desktop. So let's get out of here. And here we are on the desktop. And I need to have some place to build this. I just made a folder here and I put that on my C drive and I called it Bedrock Packs. Name it anything you want, it doesn't matter. You just need some place to build that. You're also going to need to have a new record, and I have one here called Jazz and Pairs. It kind of reminds me of Monsters, Inc. And you'll want to have a pack icon. You can get the default one real easy if you don't want to have your own. I just made my own. And then we need to get the Vanilla Resource Pack. Let me bring that up. And the page is right here. I'll put this link in the description so you can click right to this page. Now, ignore all these preview things. What you want is the top one that doesn't say preview on it. And that's right here. And it's 12070. It's the latest one. That's the one that you want. Right now, I think we're actually in 12073, but this works for that. Come right down here where it says Assets, and then download the source code right there and download this into your working folder, which is right here. Just choose Save, and that's done. Okay, here we go. Now, right click on this and open in a new window. The right is kind of floating on top. Then go inside that folder, and then come down here where it says Resource Pack. Go inside of Resource Pack. And we need a few things out of here to make this work. We need this manifest JSON right here. I'm going to drag it over here and copy. If you want to change the look of the disk, let's go here inside of textures and items. Then we'll come way down into the record section and we're going to be changing blocks. Let's just drag that in here. There's the blocks image. And it's back out of that a little ways. We're back here to the resource pack folder and going to texts. And we're also going to be changing what it says inside the game. Now I'm in the US, so I need this one right here. I'll just bring that over. If you're in a different country, then use the language file for your country. They're pretty easy to figure out. I think that's English US and English Great Britain. Okay, let's back up just a little bit here. We need to make a folder to put our record into. So I'll go over here. And notice that our first folder up here is Sounds. So go to New, come down and click on Folder, and just call this one Sounds. Go inside of here. And then a new folder, this one's music. Inside of music, another folder, this one's game. And then inside of game, another folder, and this one's records. And our new record is gonna be going right inside there. Let's just back up here to our working folder right there. You need to have a place to put this lang file into. So go back up here to our resource pack and that goes into the texts folder. You see that right there. So let's make a new folder in here, call it texts, like that. And then we also need to have a folder to put our record image into. So let's go back over here again. And this is inside of textures and inside of items right there. And that goes right in here. So let's make those folders folder textures. And inside of textures, another new folder and items. Okay, it takes care of all of our folders. That's all set to go. Let's get our manifest JSON set up. We need to have this thing. And this tells Minecraft that this is a resource pack to use. It also gives it its own identity. Let's open this thing up. Now I open these up in Notepad++. It's a free download and it's a great editor for this kind of simple code. So let's just open this up. Here we go. Let's have a couple things in here. The very top here is a description right there and it repeats right down here. We also have the name right here. They can do the name and the description as the same thing. That's fine. Let's go ahead and we'll do that one. Let's call that custom record. Actually, I think I'll put the number in here too. One, two, zero point. Right now it's seven, three. That's what I'm playing in. Let's select this, right click and copy. And then right down here, right click and we'll paste that. And then down here again, right click and paste. And we also have these two UUID codes. These are kind of like license plates on a car. Every car has to have its own license plate. Every single resource pack has to have its own couple of UUID codes. Easy to do. You bring up another website, and it's right here, the online UUID generator. I'll put this link in the description. Let's just copy this first one here. Copy, and I'll paste that one right on top of this. Just select that, right click, and paste. Make sure you don't lose any of these quotation marks. Very important, you don't lose any of that stuff. Okay, let's get another one for down here. It's gonna be going right there. Click on refresh. There's a new one, copy. And then back over here into Notepad++. Right click and paste, and there's that one. All right, this is now done. We can go ahead and just save that, close that down. 
back over here again. So we're done with that zip file, resource pack file, close that out of the way. We now need to update the language file. Again, I'm opening this thing up inside of Notepad++. Bring this up. There's a ton of stuff in here. This is everything that says anything inside the game. So you need to find the right location for that. So let's do a search for item.record. Go up here to search and find. And then find next. Here we go. Here's all the records. They're right in this section right down here. It goes all the way down to there. And there's one in here that just says record name music disc. This is what it says inside the inventory. And they all see the exact same thing. So you could change that name if you wanted to, like CD records or 45s, compact disc, whatever you want. You could change that, but all the records will be saying the exact same thing. What we want to do is come down here and we're going to be changing the one for blocks. And that's this one right there. And the reason why I'm using blocks is that these all have different lengths. And right now the record that plays stops at the length of the original song. So we want to use the longest song, give us the most time to play a record. And that one is blocks that goes on for about five and a half minutes. So we'll be changing this one right here. And then where it says description, D-E-S-C, right there. This is the name that shows up in the game. So that's what we want. Let me just get rid of this box over here. There we go. So I'll be changing this. And the record we're using is Jazz in Paris. And that's done. Okay, we'll save that out. And that's all I have to do with that language file, except put it in the right location. Let's go back to our working folder, which is right here. And this goes into that texts folder. Just drag it over there, drop it in, double check. There it is. That's all set to go. Okay, now let's change this record to something else so it can have a different look on this so it's not the typical look. And you can use anything you want to and you can do this in any program that you want to. I'll just do this in the free paint.net. I'll put a link for that program in the description. But any good graphics program can do this as long as a program can handle transparency, which means you cannot use Windows Paint. Windows Paint 3D is okay, but not the earlier, older Windows Paint that doesn't do transparency. So let's find a nice picture for this. And this right here, this is Pixabay, a great site for getting free image downloads. Let's just type in here, disk, and hit the enter key. You know the top stuff, this is things you have to pay for. We'll come down here. Everything else down here is correct. I don't know why the mushrooms are on there, but they are. Let's just find something that's kind of interesting. I kind of like that. I haven't done that one before. I'm going to try a record. I don't want to be seeing all those mushrooms. That's just crazy. We'll just search for a record. That's looking better. I want to get rid of those photographs. Let's try music record. And back here to illustrations. And that should get us closer. Okay, now we're seeing a lot of stuff that will work. And let's see what we have. That's kind of fun. It's pretty easy, pretty basic. Let's go ahead and do that one. So click on this and then download. Now I have an account up here, but it's a free account. So you know, no reason not to sign up for one. Let's go to download. Get the smallest image they make. We're going to be making this real, real small. So grab the smallest image they make. Choose download and download that into your same working folder. Choose save. If you want to donate to the person who put this up, that's fine. And that takes care of everything we need to get from online. Let's close this out. And here's our new image. Now this is way, way too large. Okay, I'm going to be opening this up in paint.net. New right-click, open with, and paint.net right there. There we go. And let's just take a look at the original size on the other one right here. Let's click on this, right-click, and let's open this also with paint.net. There it is. Let's check that image size. Image and resize. That was at just 16 by 16 pixels. That's very, very small. So let's make the new record up there 16 by 16. If you go bigger here, it's going to be bigger inside the game. So we want the same size. So we'll do 16 by 16. Let's choose OK. Let's switch over to that image right here and go up to image. Come down to resize and 16 by 16. Choose OK. There we go. Real small image. Let's just zoom in and see how this looks. It'll be about that big in the game, so that's pretty good. Let's now save this out. Let's do a file save. Saves back into the same location, and that's all done. We can now close down paint.net, and there we go. Here's the new record. Now we need to have this name the same as that. We also need to have this in the right location, so we'll just do those in two separate steps. I'll just take this, drag it into textures, drag it into items, and that's right there. That's where it should be. Let's now go back to our Axe folder. Click in here once, click a second time. And then control C to copy that into textures, items, click once, click a second time and control V to paste. And it's now named the right thing as well. So it's now in the right location and it's named the right thing. Okay. All we have left now to do is to take care of this jazz in Paris and then put the whole thing together into a resource pack. And that's little thing here. I made this myself. It's just a 120 by 128 image. You can go to 256 by 256 if you want to. It's a PNG image. Just basically a square PNG. 
in this nugget to work on this. Now, I like to edit these in Audacity. It's a great free sound editing program, and it's a really good sound editing program. It's practically professional level, but it's absolutely free. I'll put a link for that in the description as well. Let me bring that up, and here we go, Audacity. Let's close that down. Now, bring back up my working folder right here. I'm just gonna drag and drop this over like that. Easy to do. Now, there are two things we need to do with this. We need to convert this into mono so that it works properly in the game. If you don't, it's not gonna work right. And then we need to save it out as a .ogg file. So it's two steps on this. We can do all that with just the file and export audio option right here. And I'll first set this up in the right location. Then let's go inside of sounds, music, game, records, and it goes right here. And this is just gonna be called blocks. And save, that's the location. That's all set to go. Blocks.aug is correct. And the format is the aug of Vorbis files format right there. And then down here, audio options, set this for mono, and you're all set to go. And then just choose export. And that's it, that's done. Okay, get this out of the way. Not gonna bother saving that. Let's double check everything. Let's go into sounds, music, game, records. There's our new record, that's correct. Let's back up here, let's check our texts. There's our language file, that's fine. Go into textures, item. There is the image for that, that's good. So all that's ready. All we need out to do is just to combine this together into a zip file. Click on these sounds, hold your control key down, texts, textures, manifest, and your pack icon PNG. Those five things. Right click and let's compress that to a zip file. Custom record 1.20.70. Ashley 7.3. Now it has to be a zip file. If you don't see that dot zip on the end in here, we need to see that. So go up to view and come down to show and find them extensions. Make sure that is checked. I'm in Windows 11. If you're in Windows 10, go to the top of the window, click on view and put a check mark over on the right hand side where it says find them extensions. So you make sure you see that dot zip. Now click into that once, click in a second time. We can then backspace over that zip and change that to MC pack like that and click outside and choose yes. And the icon should change and you should be all set to go. If the icon doesn't change, just go inside of a folder, come back outside again. It will refresh this view. You see how it just moved over and it should change that icon for you. And that's it, we're all set to go. Now make sure that Minecraft is not running and then double click on this. This will then import the pack into Minecraft. Let's see how that works. Double click, loading up Minecraft. Import started, and they're successfully imported. There's our custom record. Let's now come down to settings right here, and scroll down, go into global resources, and look in my packs, and it should be right here at the top, that is. Let's click on that and activate. Let's check active right here at the top, that's good. Okay, it's back out of here. We'll then reload in that pack. Let's go ahead and start the game and test that out. I'll play my main world right here. Okay, here we are my main base. Let's now check out that record. We'll start by grabbing one of the records. Hit the E key, and let's go into our records, which are right up here. And here's the new record. There's it says Jazz in Paris, so that's the right name, that's good. Drag that down here. And there it is in my hand. That looks really nice. Okay, let's now take a look at this and try it over in that jukebox and make sure they have the right sound to this. Okay, let's go over here and put this into the jukebox and hear how it sounds. And there we go. I like this piece, a lot of fun. Okay, so that works. There you go, that's how to put your own music on one of the music discs here inside of Minecraft. And don't forget to click that like button. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. I'll really appreciate that. That helps me put up more videos and I'll see you next time.